The good retailers around the world source the best product and they use LED lighting because it shows those products in the best light. Five years ago you could really only get LEDs in a particular uh, very cool colour temperature band. Uh, now you can get them right across the spectrum. Um, so there's a bigger choice of light, uh, of colour temperature. The colour temperature is the, let's say, the appearance of the light. So if, if, you, if you go to a deep disc counter and you want to emphasise your deep disc counter, what you generally do is you create a very high and luminous level, very uniform, but you do it with a very cool colour. Whereas you want to, if you want to be emphasising that you're a high-end supermarket or a high-end retailer, you generally go for fairly low lighting levels in a much warmer environment. Food displays are a very interesting um, application area for LEDs uh, because the different types of food uh, require different uh, types of lighting in order to show them off to best advantage. There's lots of different shapes, textures, profiles, colours uh, and therefore to be able to tune the colour of light to suit the right shape and, and texture and colour of the product is very very important. So for meat for example we would have a very rich uh, colour very rich in, in red. Uh, for fish maybe a bit of blue to remind people of the sea. And then uh, for fresh fruit, really, you have a variety from the banana that are yellow to the, to the apple, red or green, or all kinds of colors, then you need a very full light. You need a very uh, uh, rich light in every wavelength. By placing all these LEDs in a string or in a, in a spotlight together, you can base virtually create any uh, color temperature you would like. There is traditionally uh, a, a, a cool lighting going into freezers and for, for frozen food. Uh, but there is a demand now coming up for more mid-white kinds of color, more yellowish, so that it enhances the, the, um, the warm aspect of the pictures on, on the packaging. One of the important parts of the spectrum that's missing from uh, specifically cool white LEDs is the saturated red, uh, which is called R9. So we have developed a technology, we call it Vivace, uh, and it really is a spectacular uh, uh, light that takes a very efficient, uh, cool LED, rich in blues, okay, uh, as some phosphor, shifting the, the main peak of blue into the yellowish. We add to it a red LED, we end up with a very warm LED, rich in blues, in green, in yellow and most importantly in red. And so the vibrancy of the, of, of the display is incredible. For example, um, red meat and white meat mixed and also going all the way to the cheese, for example, and possibly fish uh, where you, you could mix or you could uh, alternately week after week change the product and still get a good, good light. At the end of the day, you know, grocers are in business to sell food and LED lighting allows them to, to bring out the textures, the freshness, uh, you know, the colours. And customers are much more likely to respond to that than they are to a sign or a poster or whatever you're telling them about it. If they see a product that is appetising, if they see a product that looks tasty, they're magnetised to it. And that's why I think LED is the light of the future. Mm -hmm.